This is High School Basketball on iTalk 1067, presented by Sholo Ford, produced by White Mountain Youth Productions in cooperation with iTalk 1067 Radio. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. And now, Sholo Ford presents High School Basketball. 1067 and worldwide on italk1067.com. Offensive rebound, up and Welcome to the heart of basketball, White River, Arizona, right here at Alchese High School. I'm Ron Everingham on court side, Ronaldo Days, and we're bringing to you tonight's main matchup, the main event is going on right here, Sholo Ford's presentation of high school basketball. Excited about this game, first one to kick off our season, uh, Ronaldo. As we get started here, we want to thank Summit Healthcare, uh, Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center has everything your athlete needs to get back into the game. Of course, uh, this early in the season, we don't have any injuries to report, but we do want to uh, mention uh, Summit Healthcare as our injury report sponsor. We're going to dive right on in to our Ace Hardware keys to the game. And uh, Ronaldo, we, we want to look at just a couple of uh, players here in our pregame. Um, the first one here for uh, the San Carlos Braves is Lewis Ironshell. Um, he's a senior, and I guess he had a, a real blockbuster game coming into tonight uh, before. Yeah, uh, Lewis Ironshell is a pretty good uh, player for San Carlos, and uh, I believe uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh, young guys, but very aggressive. We got a lot of young um Youngsters stepping up for um, like for uh, for the varsity uh, Braves here for the boys, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over to you. We're so you jump right over into the out to save uh, Falcons. Uh, keep Ace Hardware key players to the game, and you got to start with uh, this guy right here, number three, Kellen uh, Parrish. You had just a, a, an amazing season last year. Yeah, he's um, very aggressive, very smart. Um, you know, he knows. When the double team's coming up and works his way around it, but you know, he stepped up real big for the varsity boys last year in the state playoff, state championship, and you know, he made a big difference in that. And you know, it was a, it was a good, it was a, it was a good game. But Kellen Parrish is one of the key players, I think, this year for the LC Falcons for the varsity boys. And we're gonna go right over to this man right here, number 12, um, Tyreek Kose. He's a guard, another player again, like you mentioned last year during the state playoffs that I just played such a key in that team. Expecting big things from him tonight. Yeah, Tyreek Kose had, a, had an injury early in the football season. Um, I believe everything is taken care of. Everything, everything was okay with, uh, with the doctors. And, but uh, key player too, another good key player, Tyreek Kose for the El State Falcons. You know, he's a tremendous ball holder. I mean, you know, he's, he's, he's very quick and, you know, he plays the ball very smart and he handles the ball and you know it just uh Tyreek Kose is one of them players that shows up on football basketball and yeah. baseball so he's a gamer athlete a true athlete right here looking forward to seeing how he plays in his first game this season tonight well that's going to wrap up our ace hardware keys to the game players of the game Ace Hardware has a 24-7 locksmith. The next time you're locked out of your car or you just need a key replace any hour of the day or night, any night of the week, call Ace Hardware, your helpful place for three locations. Ladies Pine Top, Overguard, and Sholo. Like Having said that, we're going to go ahead and jump into our starting lineups for tonight. Uh, Ronaldo, why don't you walk us through the San Carlos starting lineup? Okay, for the out, uh, I apologize. San Carlos Braves, uh, we have number 11, Eli Victor uh, Jr. is a guard. And we have number 14, Cameron Mool, freshman guard. We have number 22, Lewis Ironshill, a senior guard. Number 30, DeAndre Dude, junior forward. And we have number 42, Eric Martin, senior for uh, San Carlos Braves. So we're going to uh, take a break right here as we just announced our um, San Carlos 
um, starting lineup. When we come back from this break, we'll get into the Falcons starting lineup. They're honoring um, some folks here. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries, and Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare Orthopedic and Therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. Welcome back out to say high school as we're getting ready to tip off tonight's game. The San Carlos Braves from the south traveling up to the Alchise Falcons to take on the Falcons in their first game of the season. San Carlos Braves 1-0 on the season in this uh, start. And we're getting ready for our starting lineups, which we already went over the San Carlos Braves lineup. And so we'll take a moment and pass this over to the public address announcer to go through some of these players that we've already talked about. Number 14, a freshman, Cameron Mall. Number 22, a senior, Lewis Ironshell. Number 30, a junior, DeAndre Dude. Dude. <laughs> and number 42, a senior, Eric Martin. So there you go, that's the San Carlos and starting lineup as we've gone over. Now we'll cross on over and, and Ronaldo will introduce our Starting lineup for the Alcha State Falcons tonight, coached by Back Coach Goklish. All right, for tonight's game, uh, the nation's battle, San Carlos Raven, the Alcha State Falcons, the starting lineup for the Alcha State Falcons will be number three, Kellen Parrish, a senior. Number 11, Shane Stover, senior. Number 12, Tyreek Kose, senior. Number 23, Gregory Dazen. Senior, uh, number 33, Malachi Harris, a junior. So that's your starting lineup for the Alcha State Falcons. So some experience there in that starting lineup. Uh, we see several players who had an opportunity to play on the state championship or the state finalist team last year. Uh, and number 11, Shane Stover. See of these guys introduced and head coach Kyle Goklish. Uh, as I'll just say, head coach, looking forward to a great Number matchup 12, uh, tonight. A senior, We're just moments away from our, our Northland Pioneer College tip-off. When it times to kick off, when it comes time to kick off your college education, choose a college with the lowest tuition in the and state of senior, Arizona. Number That's Northland Pioneer Denver. College. See a nice gesture here by the. Is that Tyree Kose? Going over and give us some flowers. Yeah, I'll give some flowers to some family out there with the basketball, signed basketball by the varsity boys team. There's your starting lineup, so we're getting ready to tip it off here from Alchesay High School. And 
one of the biggest rivalries in the state of Arizona. We want to thank all of our viewers tuning in from all over the world. And certainly those of you viewing from here on the White Mountain Apache Reservation and the St. Carlos Reservation. Sure to be a great game and we're excited to be here courtside again. I'm Ron Everingham. I'm here with uh, Ronaldo Dazen with the rest of our crew to bring you the sights and the sounds. And so make sure you go onto our YouTube page and comment who you think might is going to take this game or who, what's the score that you have. We're ready for tip off. And we've got number number 33. I think that is number 33. We don't have him in the book right yet, but we'll figure it out. But Falcons control the, the tip off. Shot by shot Gregory Dazen. On the way by Dazen is up and no good. Number 33, we're here, it is Malachi Harris. So we had him as 22, or I did at least. So Malachi Harris wins the tip on that one. Falcons go down and shoot a three, miss a three. Braves back down the other way. Oh. Almost a travel. As the Braves control the ball, up top is Mull. Mull looks, passes it. Oh, nice tip away there uh, by Stover. Nice defense. A foul is actually going to be called on Kose. This first, team's first as we get things started. Braves, the ball out of bounds. Brought up the floor is uh, Victor. Victor penetrates, dishes it back out up top to Fromshell. Seems like the teams here just testing each other out a little bit. Falcons, nice, get it back up underneath their own bucket. And that bucket is up and good by number 11, Shane Stover. Nice pass. Yeah, that was Malachi Harris, number 33 for the LHSA Falcons. Malachi, one of the starters tonight with a nice pass, assist. Two scores, two to nothing as we get started in this first quarter of play. Got a traveling call. Turnover by the Braves. Falcons ball. And that ball is going to be turned back over and go over to um, the Falcons. Stover brings the ball up the floor. Looks right hand side. Gets it over to, is that Parrish? Look like Parrish, yep. As a nice ball movement by the uh, Falcons. Malachi Harris with a shot, three-pointer on the way. Hudson's furniture, three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by number 42, the big man inside, Eric Martin, for the Braves. Braves all the way back down the floor. Nice take, but it's a beautiful block by Harris. He's a 6'2 junior. And Parrish, we talked about him in the pregame, Ronaldo. Helen Parrish stepping up early in this game here. Well, that was a good uh, uh, layup to the... A good shot to the goal there. Three-pointer there by St. Three. Carlos Braves. That's uh, Fromshell with a long Fromshell. Hudson's Furniture three to take the oh. lead here. Iron Shell? Iron Shell, excuse Iron me. Iron Shell. A misspelled there. Going up for two, misses the layup. Alchese recovers, Mr. Malachi here, Harris. No, number 11, I apologize for the Falcons. Shots up and uh, no good by Shane Stover. Malachi there, number 33 for the follow-up with two points on the board. The big band, Malachi Harris, making a big difference in this game here to get started. Oh, um, yeah. He's a junior. Takes our score six to three. Falcons lead. Travel. Falcons. As usual, lots of hands in the uh, passing lanes and getting some tips away. And the Braves are going to call a timeout to talk it over here. They're down timeout six to Braves. three, and they want 30 a second. thirty second timeout. We'll take it with them. Show the Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. When you think glass, 
Think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1 888 Glassman. <laughs> Back to Alcher State High School. Show the forward's presentation of basketball, high school basketball here. I and I talk. And Graves with oh. the ball. Stolen Turnover. by Stover. Stover. It's the ball back down the other way. And it's kicked out of bounds. And, you know, we talked about it in our first game, Ronaldo, that we covered tonight. Turnovers and free throws this early in the season. Um, really something that teams have to focus on. Yeah, I think a lot of teams, it's just not the outside Falcons. It's all the north and the south region. I mean, to take control of the ball, making less turn turnovers and making your free throws, getting your offense rebound, your defense rebound, you know, that's the key thing is to keep that all together. But, you know, it's the first game for the season for the Falcons here. So, yep. Gregory Dazen had a three, a Hudson's Furniture three attempt on the way and missed, and, and the Falcons got it around but missed a layup. Going to go off to the Braves. Nice matchup here up front by Kellen Parrish and number 22, Lewis Ironshell. We talked about them in the pregame as being two key players, and we've got a foul called on the play. Foul's going to be called on number 30, foul, number 30 Mr. Dude, DeAndre Dude. DeAndre Dude. Number 44 for the Falcons here coming in. Antoine Quintero. Antoine the big, big man. man. Six, six. Nice to see him get into the game. He's a 6'6 junior. And the Falcons, Parrish, brings the ball up the floor. He'll be a good matchup for that new guy from uh, Sholo. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. What's he, 6'7? 6'7. Move in from Texas. So Moving in Sholo. from Texas, yep. Next week, we're going to have uh, Sholo Chin Lee on Tuesday. I uh, we'll want to welcome everybody to tune into that one. Kellen. Shots all the way by Parrish. Hudson's in furniture out. is in and out. No good. The Braves back down the other way. That's Mull. Picks the ball up way in the forecourt. Mull gets it back. Oh, Mull just can't get around Stover. And Stover brings the ball back down the other way. Takes it all the way to the bucket up for two. Nice. That was a coast good open lane there Stover. for Stover there. Coast to coast. Eight to three is our score. The Falcons over the Braves. And... Up top, Iron Shell do continue to do a lot of dribbling and a three Hudson's furniture three pointers on the way and good. That's his second of the game. Second one of the game and he's got all their points. Yep. <laughs> big foul by number twenty two. It's a big foul, but he's a big boy. He can handle it. Oh yeah. That foul's on Iron Shell. He'll have to watch. Foul situation with him. That's his first, the sec team second. On the line. Like we said earlier, we've got to make that difference in the free throws here. So see how the boys do with their free there throws. Oh, at least they're starting off good. On the last game for the Lady Falcons, have missed over Braves. 20 free throws. 21, I believe, or 22 oh, wow. free throws. So you know that was a lot of free throws. That was you need to work on some free throws. Caleb Second Stevens shot is up and no good. The so the Falcons shooting 50% here early on in this quarter. Victor brings the ball up the floor. Victor gets it off to Ironshell. Ironshell trying to make a move on Parrish, but that shot is up by Victor. That's a Hudson's Furniture three-pointer, and that's all they've had, Ronaldo. All three-pointers, tight ball game here, 9-9. While they walk for a three, no good. Rebound fought for, grabbed by the Braves. Two minutes and 15 seconds left of the first quarter here. Ironshell. Dishes it off to Victor. Victor drives right-hand side, goes middle, takes up a prayer, up and no good. Rebounded by Tyreek Kose. Tyreek gets it down the floor. He gets it to Walker. Walker over to Parrish for three. three Hudson Furniture three. 
Helen Parrish for a three-pointer. Talked you, about him. Uh, so far, everybody we talked about in the pregame has been uh, the standouts of this game. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you have an open shot like a three-pointer like that, you might as well take it and, you know, have that shot go in instead of taking a difficult shot when somebody's guarding you. Travel called on Ben Carlos. Coming in back to the line of Shane Stover and for the Braves. Shane coming in for uh, Tyreek Kose for the Falcons here. One minute, 35 seconds. The score is 12 to, to nine. 14, back to the Falcons, 12 to nine here, first quarter. Again, we want to welcome in all of our viewers from around the world. You said you had a few friends joining us. Yes, I had a... As I ask you that, as you just eat your candy bar there. <laughs> <laughs> I spit it right out, but um, <laughs> I want to thank uh, Brendan Butterfield all the way from Page. Uh, locally, he's a graduate from the Outstate Falcons. He's um, watching live here. Uh, doing a shout out to him all the way, or he's doing a shout out from Paige that he's watching live with the with the YouTube and uh, Mr. Dan Butterfield, another graduate of Outstate Falcons. Um, he's down in Chandler. So these guys are the guys that got in contact and watching as, as as I'm speaking. I want to thank everybody that's watching nationwide. Uh, you know, around the world, you know, this is live anywhere broadcast. So we yep. want to thank everybody and all the sponsors. Yeah, Falcons fans from all over, Ed Braves fans, no doubt, while tuning in. So make sure you go make your voice heard online if you want to chat it up uh, on there and tell us your opinion, who you think is going to win this one. There's a three on the way. It's up mm. and good. Three Big Hudson's Cameron furniture three-pointer. Cameron Mull. And again, <laughs> they do not have any two-pointers from the field. They have all threes. Oh, yeah. Four threes give them their 12 points and ties it up. Shot on the way from the corner is no good by Walker, but Walker gets the steal coming back down the other way. Walker gets it over to number 21, Dazen. And Stevens, excuse me. That's Caleb Stevens for two. Nice pass. That was good. I mean, I think first quarter, I'll say struggled uh, with a lot of shots in and out, but you know, it's a good game right now. Yeah, we're seeing well. a really, for the being the first game for the Falcons, the second game for the Braves, we're seeing a really clean game, with something we didn't see in the girls game. And turnover as, there. As we say that, we have see a turnover. Stover back down the other way. Shot up and good. Tover with Stover with his sixth point of the quarter. It's our high point score for the Falcons this first quarter. Three-pointer long. Oh. Three-pointer on the way, and it is good. All three-pointers for the, furniture. Well, uh, the Braves yeah. here. We might as well call that the Hudson's Furniture um, <laughs> San Carlos Braves first quarter because that's all that they had was threes. Yes. So, wow. Here's a replay on that one. You can see if you're online viewers, that's a long NBA three-point long range. And uh, that is going to be the end of the first quarter. Our score is 16 to 15. The Falcons lead by one. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. to say high school we are in a starting the second quarter of play it's northland pioneer wants to remind you when it comes comes time to kick off your college education choose a college with the lowest tuition in arizona falcons get a steal back down the other way malachi, malachi harris, harris for two 17 to excuse me 18 to 15 is our score falcons looking more aggressive than the braves tonight so far at this point in the game Braves drive, try to pass it out underneath. It's stolen by Harris. Harris. This Malachi is really stepping up big for the Falcons here for number 33 for the Falcons. You know, he's getting the offensive defense rebound. He has the defense. Hustling to get the ball. Got the ball and hit the player and got the ball back for the Falcons here. So Malachi oh. Harris, the six foot two junior. He's looks to be longer than six two though. He's a lanky kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, having a great game. Kose over to the corner to Stover. 
Dazen. Dazen, excuse me. Dazen gets it back. Dazen gets it over to Stover. 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 Three on the way. Up no and no good. Rebounded by the Falcons, but I think it was turned over. And we're going to have another timeout by the Braves. So we're going to have another 30 Time second timeout. We'll, we'll keep it right here as we um, take a look at uh, the teams in their huddles. There we see a nice shot of Coach Goklish with his team. And Coach Goklish always does a really great job with these young men and uh, just have the utmost respect for Coach Goklish and what he does with his boys. Uh, it's really inspiring run into the state playoffs last year. Had a lot of great Richard moments with Coach. And so we want to thank all of our sponsors, the Shola Ford, Summit Healthcare, Ace and Hardware, North of Pioneer, Mount Mobile Auto Glass, Glass, Hudson's Furniture, it's Beeler it's Orthodontics, it's Deemer's it's Glass, it's Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports and Store. And we want to thank um, those on bringing the sights and sounds. we got Jaden Kokenauer as our audio engineer, Drayden. Um, Raul on camera, Michael Collins on replay, Jimmy Maxwell is our technical director, Chris Bennett on the juicy graphics, as he likes to say. I'm Ron Everingham, and I am courtside with Ronaldo Dazen um, to bring you this contest. And the Carl, San Carlos Braves get it back. Nice drive to Iron oh. Shell. Back down. He gives that Good look, you know. <laughs> when you just. Uh, Got the best of somebody, kind of gave him that little look. And, and back, back down the other way. Wow. Malachi. What do, you, what do you think about Malachi's play tonight, Ronaldo? Man, Malachi's really aggressive. He's really on his feet. He's quick. He's, I mean, he's there. Offense, defense, rebound, you know. Oh, they're going to call that oh. bucket good. Basket oh, yeah. interference. And I didn't see who shot that. But he's who gets the bucket. And I think if I had to guess, it was Iron Cody Shell. So we'll, we'll give him the bucket on the basket interference. Yeah. 21 to 19 is our score. Coming to the lineup for the Braves. As if, as if you guys are watching live, uh, St. Carlos has not taken the lead yet. Yeah, so, Victor. you know, um, the Alpha State Falcons have been on top. 21-19, uh, you know, Malachi is a big, uh, a big key to this player right now for the Falcons with uh, Kellen Parrish. Yeah, and Malachi Harris, as you see a shot up there, he's really uh, he's done a lot of work, must have been over the summer, it's really coming to zone. I don't think he was a key player on last year's team. No. So he's really stepped up. There he is again. Shot back down the other way by the Braves, is up and no good. Down the other way, Stover, Stover. drives, left-hand side, ball's tipped out of bounds. There's a nice shot there you see of uh, – Le Lavander Dewey, excuse me. He's a 5'11 senior, number 10, checking out of the game. Kose up top. Kose over to Harris. Harris, three-pointer on the way. He's up and no good. Rebounded by number 20, Patton. Good steal. Wow. I'm telling you, Malachi is really stepping up for the Falcons here. Malachi looking great for the Falcons. That's his... Ninth point of the game, 19 to 20. There goes that three-pointer. It's that three iron shell. Yes. It's like the iron shell for three. We got a foul back foul down the other way. That is number foul 11, Aliyah Victor. Victor. He fouls Dazen. Dazen is going to go to the line. He doesn't have any points yet tonight. Gregory Dazen, six shot. foot senior. With an opportunity to score his first point of the game, and that's up and good. Second shot for Dazen is up and nothing but net. That's a good change for the Falcons here. I mean, they've always made the free throws, but, you know, like I said, free throws does win games. And 25 to 22, nice play by Dazen, but he did catch him. Sneaky. He gets a foul. The foul's on Gregory Dazen. It's an out to say his second team foul. Mm-hmm. coming in, Lewis Armshell back to the left. We want to welcome in all of our online viewers who tuned in tonight. Ron Everingham with Ronaldo Dazen courtside. Falcons. Shot up by Stover's up and good for two. Good 
Good hustle by the Falcons. Looked like there's a, oh, but he had no control of the ball. Uh, foul on the Falcons here. Shane Stover with his first foul of the game. That's the Falcons' third. Look like St. Carlos got some new uniforms this year. New uh, basketball uniforms. Yeah, they look nice. Look pretty nice. He had a chance to go down to San Carlos last year, San Carlos High School, and for the Alchese San Carlos game, and uh, just was really um, great. They were really great hosts to get us set up on the live stream down there, as was Alchese today. So we want to thank both schools for being such uh, great partners in this broadcast. Fountain ball. San Carlos loses the ball out of bounds. Score is 27 in favor of the Falcons over the Braves, 22 with four minutes and 32 seconds left of the second quarter. Five point, five point lead. Days in for three. Whoa, it's a big one. Three Hudson's three furniture, three Hudson's furniture three point shot for Days is up and good. It's going to be 20, 30 to 22, and Gabriel checking out of the game for the Falcons is Shane Stover. I think Dazen is going to be coming good yeah, through the through the now. season. Yeah, these outs, the Falcons looking looking in mid-season shape so far here tonight. Rotating in about seven or eight players deep. They're going to take a timeout, 22 to 30, the Falcons Come on top. Falcons. This is Sholo Ford's presentation Third of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk1067.com. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatchet Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. got a uh, shout out there. Yeah, I got a shout out, another uh, buddy from mine in the Valley. I want to shout out to the uh, Theodore Roosevelt School Warriors boys who won today with the 3-0 record. Um, Future Falcons uh, watching all the way from down the road. So they want to wish the Falcons good luck. And, you know, thank you guys for watching live. And, you know, thank you for the shout out. Thank you for watching and, you know, keep it going. We have a lot of people watching all over the world in the states, uh, different countries. So we want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching. But uh, we have the turnover here by the San Carlos Braves, <laughs> getting it back. But uh, give it, turn it back over. There's some play there. So we got also online. Just notice some some folks uh, checking in from places like Phoenix and Albuquerque and San Diego, uh, watching from Ash Fork where the Civic Q Wildcats will be playing Ash Fork in the championship game of the Route 66 Braves Holiday ball. Invitational in Williams. That's a nice shout out. Watching from Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, so yeah, as we mentioned, from all over, thanks for tuning in. It's a pleasure to bring you, be the sights and sounds of this game for y'all. Three pointer there by three -pointer San Carlos. Man, San Carlos is hot tonight from three. That's Elia Victor's second three. A lot of three pointers for the Braves to keep themselves in this game here. 25 to 30 is our score. For our radio audience, we'd like to welcome all of you guys in also here for this high school matchup. Uh, one of the best rivalries in the state, north and south here. San Carlos Braves traveling up to Malachi for three. <laughs> this kid is stepping up a lot for the Falcons here. I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed. I didn't have, we didn't have him on our radar. Another Iron three. Shell. And if you're not watching online, the best thing about when Iron Shell makes a three is is his uh, shout out to the crowd. <laughs> oh, three, yes. Another Dazen Hudson three there. Yeah, Dazen with the response three, and we've got a like a heavyweight prize fight here going on here with these these bombs. I think we should make up a name for him. Call him the Amazing Dazen. Amazing Dazen. Yes, exactly. Oh, nice play there by number 30 for two. 
That's DeAndre Dude for two points. And uh, Malachi. This Hudson Furniture threes are firing up all over the place. Just noticing nice sportsmanship there as oh, said yeah, from our good. people in the truck uh, helping up uh, helping up another person. You got to have good sportsmanship in this in this in this league, yeah. you know. Um, that shows a lot of respect for each other and you know, it's all about fundamentals. It's, you know, education comes first, but you know, you got some really talented kids out there that are playing. Kellen Parrish with the Hudson's Furniture three-pointer on the way is up and no good. Our score is 36 to 30 with two minutes and seven seconds to go here before halftime. Falcons probably with a, a lot more take, takeaways on the defensive side, playing a little higher pressure defense. Tyreek Kose goes to the bucket, but he's fouled. Got a foul in the act of shooting. Number 11. Got a foul, number 11. That foul's on Victor, his second, team's third. And we got timeout another Braves. timeout. So I'm pretty sure the Braves have had two 30 second timeouts and that's a full timeout for them. And they're only left with two left in the whole game. We'll take it with them. Show Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk 106.7 and italk1067.com. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile, love your smile. Find up, find up. Uh, or, Sholo. Sholo. Yeah, it's nice and cold down here, so if you go outside and sit in the trailer, I'm pretty sure they're filling it in there. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Alcho State High School. One minute, 56 seconds to go here before halftime. The Falcons. Lead the Braves by six points. Show the Ford's presentation of high school basketball. And to the line goes Tyreek Tyre Kose. See how Tyreek shoots him up from the 15 footer tonight. It's up and good. One minute and 56 seconds left till halftime here. Uh, I'll say Falcons leading through the game here. Gabriel Burnett. Gabriel Burnett. Gabriel Burnett. Gabriel, sorry. Wiley Walker, uh, checking into the game. Foul, that's the team's fourth, I believe. Uh, team foul four for Braves and six for the Falcons. So. Six for the Falcons, okay. Got a ball kicked out of bounds. Stay with the Braves. Look like some people took off early to the casino. <laughs> Shot blocked. Knocked out of bounds. $5. Malachi Harris having an amazing game tonight. Amazing first half. The 6'2 junior for the Falcons coming up big. And Falcons jumping every pass, trying to get a turnover. Shot up on the way is up and no good. Rebounded by Dazen. Dazen brings it back down over to Parrish. Parrish, cross court to Harris. Harris is fouled, actually. And and he's going to shoot three. The three was in and out. No good. This kid is something a junior. Malachi. Malachi Harris. The foul is on number 23, Justin Bread. He's only a sophomore. Yep. A lot of the, the St. Carlos Braves are very young. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors stepping up here in the varsity. Squad. Malachi's first shot is up and good. Thirty-eight to thirty is our score. It's the second one. He gets three. He was fouled Seven from the three-point line. Brave, Malachi having Eric a huge Clark. second quarter here. Look like we're gonna points. Look like Coach Kyle's giving the starting five a break here a little early. <laughs> Maybe giving them a little bit of rest. Checking in some other players, we see um, Gregory, no, 20. Check some numbers for you here real quick. Oh, 32. DeAndre Anderson also checking into the game. 
It's interesting, DeAndre's brother starts for Blue Ridge. Another turnover there. I just realized there. that. Oh, that Malachi's last free throw was, was up and good. Travel there by number 32 for the Falcons. Turnover by the Falcons. Braves ball. Coach Antonio calling out some instructions for his players. 47 seconds to go. We'll see what the Braves do. They're down by 10 with the ball here just before halftime. Ooh. And we're going to have a foul called on number 20 of the Falcons. That's Gabriel Burnett. That's his second of the game. Number 20, Gabriel Burnett, second personal foul. That's the team seventh. Justin Bread at the line, two shots. It's going to send to the line Justin Bread for two free throws. Here comes the first one. It's on its way. It's up and good. DeAndre Dude back to the lineup. Checking back in for the Braves is DeAndre Dude, the junior. Second shot on its way is off the front of the rim, up and no good by Bread. Rebounded by the Falcons, and with 34 seconds to go, Stover brings the ball up the floor. The opportunity here to score. Have a imagine Coach Gokus will hold for the last shot here for half. 22 seconds left till halftime. Something the Falcons are good at, patience. Uh, drives the middle, gets it turned over. Braves, an opportunity to score. Get it up top to Victor. Turned over, wow, a lot of turnovers there just in a few seconds. Malachi, Harris shot on away is no good, but he's fouled. Looks like he's going up for two, so. Got a foul on Elia Victor. And team six, it's gonna take Malachi Harris to the line for two shots. Versus up is in and out, no good. His first free throw miss of the game. Three for four, free from the line. Second shot on its way, is up and good. Up by 10 points here, another turnover. Wiley picks up, another two before the halftime, oh, and wow. it is good. Stover with a heads up play. It's a pickoff, score two more James points. Stover. Score is 43-31. You know, it's like uh, last year's game. It was a close game by 10 points, but the Alps State started taking off by the end of the third quarter going into the fourth. But uh, anything can happen in basketball. Yeah, and uh, certainly Coach Antonio is not going to like what he saw right there at the end of that. Uh, but uh, that's going to do it for this half. 43-31 is our score. The Falcons lead over the Braves. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on italk106.7 and italk1067.com. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their newly expanded showroom, they offer furniture for every room in your home, including best home furnishings, featuring solid wood construction and a lifetime warranty. And customized orders are available to fit your individual size, color, and style. Plus, get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture across from Walmart in Taylor. In today's challenging economy, having a college education is a must. Northland Pioneer College is here to help you prepare for your future. NPC is committed to providing you with the highest quality education with the lowest tuition cost in the state. We offer a variety of advanced learning classes to prepare you for a transfer or associate's degree, personal interest education, or earning your GED. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Go online at npc.edu. Need hats, shirts, or jackets embroidered with your logo? Get custom embroidered products from Little Bluebird Studios. That's right, the company that does the best job screen printing t-shirts and hoodies now offers embroidery. 
Little Bluebird Studios is a local company with skilled designers that care about your company's image and brand. Call Little Bluebird Studios today, 928-351-7942 or online at littlebluebird.org. Little Bluebird Studios, the company that cares. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center is a proud supporter of high school sports. Many of our local sports players were born at the hospital, where Summit Obstetrics offers comfortable individual rooms for mom and baby. In case of a sports injury, the hospital ER is always staffed and prepared to take on the most serious injuries, and Summit features an advanced diagnostics department with state-of-the-art equipment. The Summit Healthcare orthopedic and therapy teams can help sports players overcome injuries and return to the game. Summit Healthcare Regional Medical Center wishes all players a successful and healthy season this year. Want to go fishing? Head to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. They have fishing supplies, outdoor fishing attire, and fishing gear. Plus, all kinds of bait, including live worms, flies, and lures. The staff are experienced anglers, and they can advise you on what you need, where to go, and what type of bait the fish are biting on. Plus, pick up your fishing, camping, and boat permits. When you think fishing, think Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport. Located on Highway 260, one mile before the casino. You've been there, waiting forever at the gas station for the guy to free up so he can fill up your propane tank. Or worse, when the only qualified propane technician decided to stay home that day. Yep, you've been there, and I have too. That's why now I get my propane from Ace Hardware every time. You get Ace Hardware's world-famous customer service when you stop in for propane. That's right, you get in, you get out, and you get a great deal on propane and everything else. From Ace Hardware at their locations in Pine Top and Heber. Ace Hardware is proud to support White Mountain Sports. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> All right, five seconds. Here's your audio, guys. Welcome back to Al Jose High School. Rod Everingham, courtside with Ronaldo Days and uh, for tonight's matchup. We've got a score of 43 to 31 is our score. We want to welcome in all of you guys uh, from all over the world tuning in and also from the White Mountains. And Ronaldo, that was, you know, a good a good first half for both teams. Uh, what do you think was the difference in the game to this point? Uh, just looking at the key players, you know, the starting five, uh, Malachi, one of the guys never, I mean, uh, he did step up big for the first half for the Falcons. Um, Three-pointers for the yep. San Carlos is nothing but three-pointers. Majority that got them on the board and, you know, a lot of outside shooters. And, you know, 90% of the shots are pretty good, you know. And, you know, when it comes to the boys, Malachi stepped up. Uh, I believe the other uh, amazing days in there, Gregory Dazen, is uh, pretty pretty much stepping up for the varsity boys. Um, you know, there's it's, it's, it's a good start right now, but it's almost similar as last year's, um, like I said earlier, just similar to last year's uh, game down in San Carlos. It was pretty close, but other than that, I think uh, I think uh, it's going to be a good game again, but we'll see how far they go. Yep, you mentioned it. The three-pointers were a story in the first half, especially for the San Carlos Braves. Um, they they um, counted themselves for eight three-pointers. And as we see some of those um, 
replays from the earlier game there from the girls. But while they're going through some of those replays um, from tonight's matchups, uh, we'll go over some of the scoring. And tonight for the San Carlos Braves, Elia Victor with six, first half. Cameron Mull with three, first half. Iron Shell, who we talked about in the pregame, uh, comes out and hits four threes and two twos for a total of 16 points um, in the first half. Uh, Justin Brett coming in, hitting 50% from the line uh, with one point. DeAndre Dude for two, and Nathaniel Moses uh, for three points in the first half. Um, go, moving on over to the Alch State Falcon side, Kellen Parrish comes in with five points. Uh, we had Shane Stover with 10 points. Um, Tyreek Kose, a quiet first half, um, one for two, 50% uh, from the line with one point. Uh, Gabriel uh, Burnett with no score, no, no points on that first half. Caleb Stevens did uh, come in with two points. Malachi Harris, but uh, we talked about it, his, yeah. the, the big half there, 16 points, tying the iron shell. Um, with 16 points, and so uh, a great, a, a, a great showing there by Harris coming out. Uh, Gregory Dazen, amazing Dazen had uh, eight points, and Antoine Quintero, the big man, in the middle with one point, and so that uh, wraps up our scoring recap there for the first half of play. Again, the Falcons lead 43 to 31 here at halftime. We'll be right back. Uh, with the start of the tip, the tip off for the second half, Northam Pioneer College tip off. This is Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball on iTalk 106.7 and iTalk 1067.com. When you think glass, think Deemer's Glass in Lakeside. Deemer's Glass offers the best selection of quality glass with affordable prices. They do full home window packages, replacement windows, custom shower doors and enclosures, custom mirrors in many shapes, styles, and colors, glass doors and hardware, commercial glass for buildings and offices, skylights, screens, fire-rated glass for your fireplace or stove, window film, and more. Visit Deemer's Glass today on Porter Mountain Road in Lakeside or call 1-888-GLASSMAN. Want to buy the number one selling truck in America for over 41 years? Want to buy a vehicle with a lifetime engine warranty? Want to get the best deal in the state of Arizona on your new Ford car, truck, van, or SUV? Go to Sholo Ford. Anyone can say they'll give you a great deal, but Guy Hatch at Sholo Ford means it. In fact, he guarantees it. Buy the best from the best. Sholo Ford on the east end of the deuce. say high school we're getting set for the Northam Pioneer kickoff to the third quarter when it comes time to kick off your college education choose the college with the lowest tuition in the state of Arizona that's Northland Pioneer College the Falcons about to say will start with the ball here in the second half of play up 43 to 31 as they get started we see some people clear out here as you mentioned Ronaldo a late um, game later game tonight because of an injury that we had in the first game that set us back I don't know a good 20 minutes probably I'll say about half an hour about a half an hour uh, delay that fouls on number 33 number 33 on the ground will be under Nathaniel man. Moses Nathaniel Moses that's first, uh, first Braves foul. first foul of the first half three and for Malachi again there he is Malachi Harris gets Harris. started Second half, just like he started the first half. Wide open. Three on the way, Iron Shell. Misses the layup. Shot on the way is missed. Out to Tyreek Kose. Kose looking. Gets it over to Parrish. Parrish for three on Short. the way. Gets his own rebound. You know, they always say, follow your shot. All the time. <laughs> so he did that. You can hear Coach uh, Goklish encouraging his team. Stop the ball on a drive. Iron Shell thinks about it, but yeah, passes they, it off. Look like they put pressure on um, Iron Shell because he was shooting a lot of three pointers in the first half here. Yeah, so, it's got to be one thing that maybe they talk about at half about yep. putting some pressure on Iron Shell. He's the only one really on the Braves team that did any damage that first half, having 16 points. Oh, yeah. 6.55 to go here in the third quarter. 46 31 is our score. I'll just say Falcons. 
lead over the Braves. Shot on the way by the Braves is short. Got his own rebound, puts it back up. And that's Eric Martin working hard underneath, but he misses another shot. Back down the other way, nice pass to Harris up underneath. Harris thinks, gets it out to Days. Days and three on the way is no good. Falcons with a lot of rebounds. Just outworking the Braves. That foul's gonna be on black 30, that's DeAndre Dude. Look like majority of the San Carlos yeah, fan yeah. left, I think, because it's too cold for them, and there's going to be snow coming down on the higher mountains, so they probably want to get a head start on the road. So the Falcons are going to take a timeout. 30 seconds. 30 second timeout. Uh, we'll take it with them. Shola Ford's presentation of high school basketball. I talk 106.7 and I talk 106.7.com. All right. Hey, hey. Want to buy the. Orthodontist Dr. Joshua Beeler has been providing family-friendly orthodontics in Sholo and the entire White Mountains since 2006. If you need braces, stop in and see the friendly folks at Beeler Orthodontics and meet their professional staff. Dr. Beeler and his team have the latest in orthodontics technology, and they work with each patient individually to custom-tailor the most effective treatment plan for the best results. Beeler Orthodontics is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Beeler Orthodontics, live to smile and love to your smile. Welcome back to Alcatraz High School here at the Activity Center. Dazen with a three on the way is up and no good. And that's going to be rebounded by the Braves. Falcons up big by 15, 46-31. The Braves not able to fight back in this one to this point. Six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Nice little give and go there. Shot is up and barely missed. In and out, no good by Dude. Falcons just really look like the superior team tonight. Coming short. Nice rebound by Kose. Kose is going to be fouled on the play. That foul is on number 30. DeAndre Dude, that's his third. Third personal foul. Team's third of the half. Tiger and Kose at the line, two shots. Tyreek Kose, shots on the way is up and no good. A miss. Kose with his second shot on the way is up and good. So he's shooting 50% from the line tonight. Two for four. Little push off there from number 12, Tyreek. How many team fouls or how many fouls is that on Tyreek? That's on Tyreek. first two on Tyreek. And second that's the team's the first for this half. Braze ball. Look oh, like wow, that's nice not a good steal. pass. <laughs> Kellen Parrish uncontested un back down Kellen the other way for Kellen two. 49-31 is our score. The Braves just not really able to do much with this pressure that the Falcons are, are given. Yeah, they're not given that opportunity to shoot and stuff, but... You know, I think the, the defense stepped up really big for the Falcons here in the second half here. Got a in the act of shooting. They haven't scored for the past three minutes, so the score still 31. Malachi Harris. I would say Falcons have 49. Line, the foul is going to be Eric called on Martin. Malachi Harris, and that's going to send the senior, number 42, Eric Martin, to the line for two points. There's two free throws, excuse me. First one's on the way, in and out, no good. Getting some good commentary from our truck. Let's see. <laughs> First one's up and no good. 49 to 31 is our score. Martin's shot is up and good. Take the Braves to 32. And it feels like all the energy in the building has left. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, big difference here, but, you know, key players, you know, Malachi is one of the guys stepping up, just stealing the ball, oh, just blocked the ball. But, you know, this kid's given all he has, and he's already doing good here in the first and second half. So, you know, Tyreek 
another guy stepping up, Kellen Parrish, and you know this is gonna be a good game. But you know the Falcons have really put the pressure on the Braves here in the second second half here. Falcons come out and almost like in mid-season form here. Levander Dewey coming in for the Falcons. Falcons get the ball back. 4.24 to go here in the third period. Malachi with the ball, bringing the ball back out to Gregory Dazen, back to the top of the key to the side. Uh, Stope, no number 10. Then to Stover, tips it back in, keeps it live with Gregory Dazen. Killing for three, no good, short. Hudson he gets the ball back. <laughs> Nice two pointer there by Kellen Parrish. Two points, Kellen Parrish. Parrish, a great, nice little runner there. Falcons are putting some big pressure on the, the Braves here. Yeah, this looks like the Braves at this point have either out of gas or just 1-0 uh, on the season. But yeah, I think they put the pressure on Mr. Uh, Iron, Iron Shield, I believe. He was the one really stepping up for the varsity uh, Braves here. Yeah, Iron Shell really the only one to do anything of note here. That foul is on number 23, Black. His second, that's Justin Bread. That's going to send Kellen Parrish to the line for two. Justin Bread. Look, the, the Al State Falcons slowly walking away with this here, 51-32 with three minutes left here. Um, the Braves have not scored within the past, what, four and a half minutes here. Yeah. Just a free throw, and one was good, and the second one wasn't good. So yeah, they've just gone cold here, coming out at halftime. One point, one point since half. So they're gonna sub in some players. And number eleven, Eli Victor. It's been a long night. It's already past nine o'clock, and I know, you know, past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cold tonight. So you guys dress warm wherever you guys are at yeah. here in the White Mountains. Shot is up and good by Parrish. Wiley Walker yeah. to the lineup. Parrish's 10th point of the game. Again, the big surprise tonight for the Falcons as far as we're concerned because Malachi Harris coming out. And we had Kellen Parrish pegged as, uh, you know, being a leader from last year, coming out and being a star of the game. But I tell you, Harris has really taken the show here tonight for the Falcons. That bucket is good. Number it's 11, a, yep. It's going to be a foul That's on good. Levander foul Dewey. Levander Dewey. Bucket is One good shot. by Elia Victor. And he gets to go to the line for a three-point attempt. It's up and good. I think I found my new job here with uh, 106.7 yeah, I talk. <laughs> you did a great job. Thanks for sitting in for us. Yeah, you guys have a good crew. Everything's working good here. You know, want to thank the crew that that is here. You know, yeah. to give the time to be here and broadcast live for you folks out there watching live. And you know, it takes a lot of work. You got to have a team. If you don't have a team, there's yeah. no I in this I talk. That's right. So. That's right, and it does. Uh, if you're here, if you ever see one of our broadcasts, it does take a lot of work. A lot of cables get rolled into these gymnasiums and rolled back out by our crew. And so we want to thank all of them. And make sure that you, too, could go to italk1067.com and you can shoot an email to um, our advertisers through our webpage. That's Dazen for two on a runner, his first two of the third quarter here, second half. 2.30 to go here. Shot on the way, three-pointer. Hudson's Furniture three-pointer on the way is up and no good. Back down the other way, an iron shell blocks a shot. <laughs> and uh, kind of just, I don't know, he's called for a foul, so it doesn't matter. If you see a replay here, you can see how iron shell kind of looks at uh, Stover. It's hard to talk smack, though, when you foul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or if you're getting beat by 20 points. Yeah, and you know, you're getting beat. Yeah, that's score is 55-35 here with 2 minutes and 16. 
You know, um, it's a lot of frustration if you're the key player yeah, and they don't know how to put, true, you yeah. know, when they put you uh, in your spot where you can't score, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So and I'm no pretty doubt, sure he's frustrated right now. No so. doubt he's been a focus uh, of the defense. And, and uh, he right now he's drawing the defense of Elia Walker. Elia just yeah. sticking on him to, right now. He's not even playing any help side defense. He's just got the... the uh, Shore of following Iron Shell around. Shots up and no good. 156 to go here. This game has gotten a little bit out of control here as the San Carlos Braves come out at half and only score four points to this point. So offensively, they've gone gone stale. So number five, Wiley Walker is really putting a lot of pressure on the key player for the Braves there, Mr. Iron Shell. Um, Number five for the Falcon is putting good pressure, defense, and he's getting a lot of frustration right now. He's trying to figure out what he can do, and, you know, the coach is probably trying to figure out what another person to work with right now, but, you know, they have some good defense right now here by the Falcons. So we're going to have an offensive Falcon foul there by Jalen Patton um, of the Braves, and now, as you mentioned, uh, Lavander Dewey bringing the ball up the, f the floor. Stover. And, uh, excuse me. Coach Goku was able to get in some of his subs at this point. And there's a shot on the way by Walker. It's up and no good. Rebounded by the Braves. Braves back down the other end. They're looking for something. Good night. And we're going to have a foul called on the play. Look like a lot of the fans are leaving now, so. One minute and nine seconds left of the third quarter here. 56, I'll just say Falcons. Uh, St. Carlos visiting team is 35. You know, team fouls, you got six and four on. Six on the Braves and four on the Falcons. Three's up, no good. And jump ball. Last foul was on Lavander Dewey of the Falcons. And Shots jump, in for jump ball's going to go back to the Falcons. Martin. 58 seconds to go here in the third period of play. 56-35 is our score from the activity center. Jump ball, I'll just say Canadian high Braves school. To the Braves. Braves ball. Black ball. So if you guys are just tuning in or anything, you know, I just want to give you guys a little uh, briefing on Sunrise Park Resort. You know, they're going to be open on weekends and on uh, December 14 or 16, I believe. They'll be open out through the whole seven days a week, but they'll be open on weekends. So tomorrow you're getting about close to uh, well over 12 inches of snow, probably 16, 18 in that area for sunrise. So little heads up, dress warm, stay warm. You know, check on your friends, your, your elderly at home. So it's a cold night. Shot on the way by Stover's no good. And there's going to be a foul called on the play. 21. Fouls on 21. Two Caleb Stevens. And that's a team foul on Caleb fifth. Caleb Stevens first personal foul. Braves ball. 39 seconds to go here. The Braves have an opportunity to score here before half. 30 seconds. Almost looked like a double dribble there by 42, but no call. It was Air a foul court. there. That foul's on number four, Ryan Quintero. Get a foul on number four, Ryan. Ryan Quintero. So the Braves take the ball out of bounds. 24 seconds. Cool. What kind of pressure by Walker there? Travel. Walker shaking up number 10, Hopkins, just in the kind of pressure that he was providing. He didn't really know what to do. He, he traveled, tried to go to the bucket. So the Falcons at 19 seconds to go have an opportunity here for the last shot of the third quarter. Wiley Walker has one of the strongest defense. I mean, you know, he'll put the pressure on you, and he's quick. He's fast, and, you know, he knows how to use his body. So 
You know, it's going to be a good turnout for the Falcons here for the third quarter. And that is the end of the third quarter. Falcons don't get a shot off in time, and that's going to end our third quarter. Sholo Ford's presentation of high school and basketball on italk 106.7 and italk1067.com. Hudson's Furniture has quality furniture at affordable prices. With their newly expanded showroom, they offer furniture for every room in your home, including best home furnishings, featuring solid wood construction and a lifetime warranty. And customized orders are available to fit your individual size, color, and style. Plus, get guaranteed credit approval with zero interest and zero down. For the best prices on quality furniture, visit Hudson's Furniture across from Walmart in Taylor. Okay, 30 seconds. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Five seconds, here's your audio. to Alchese High School. Ron Everingham, courtside with Ronaldo Dazen bringing to you the ma feature matchup tonight. There is the three Falcons get the ball three back three and three-pointer on the way. That's our Hudson Furniture three-pointer by Gabriel Burnett. First to get the fourth quarter started off here. The Falcons up big, 59-35 in this uh, rivalry matchup here. Foul's gonna be on number 32, DeAndre Anderson. I think that's going to be the one and one. And if we're in the one and one already, this might be a long fourth quarter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every foul will be at the line yeah. from here on out. 7.37 to go as we just get started in our fourth quarter. And just going to send Cameron Mull to the line. Cameron's a freshman. Shot is up and no good. Rebounded by the Braves. Yeah, he's a, that's a nice move there by Mull. Mull is a freshman for the Braves, and he was a starter, so he's going to be a four-year starter for the Braves. He looks like he's going to be a player. And that was a basket interference. That'll go to Mull. Yeah, there's a lot of young freshmen stepping up for San Carlos for the South. I mean, you know, that's that's good. Tyree Kose, our Hudson Furniture three-pointer. 62-37 in favor of the Falcons here in the fourth quarter. 7.06 left. Tipped off by Mr. Tyreek Kose out of, out of bounds going back to San Carlos. Checking out of the game is Elia Victor for the Braves. We've got a kick called near the sideline. Braves keep possession. Try to get it up underneath to the big man, number 42. Shots up and no good by Martin. Going back to the line again. Fouls on 32, DeAndre Anderson. Got a foul on number 32, DeAndre Anderson. DeAndre Anderson with his second personal. And Eric the Martin team's eighth. Line. Shot on the way is up and good by Martin. Martin with only his second point of the game. Two for three from the line. Shot on the way is up and good. So Falcons with the ball back. Kose passes it around. Anderson drives the middle of the lane. He's going to be fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot a 1-1. One -one. Fouls on number 14, Mull. Get 
We have some subs coming in, number 22 and number 15 for the San Carlos Braves, taking out number 42. Martin and Iron Shell coming in. William Martin Jr. Shot on the way by Anderson is up and good. DeAndre Anderson at the line. His first of the game. It's one. 63 to 39 here from Alchese High School. 6.38 to go in this contest. Second shot by Anderson is up and good. Foul on Wiley, number five, White. So we're gonna go for two, our bonus here. <laughs> Coach Goka says from the sidelines, quit fouling. <laughs> you know, um, I'm pretty surprised about our I'll say Falcon boys. I mean, you know, they started off slow, but you know, slowly taking their their ride off. But you know, the score is 64-39, and you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good season. Look like they're ready for the season. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure they beat up Sholo in their scrimmage. So close game, but they did walk away with the win. Where was that scrimmage at? I believe I was. I believe in Sholo. Was up in Sholo. Falcons with the ball to pass the ball around the perimeter. Parrish with a three-pointer on the way is up and no good. And the rebound is going to be fought for. It's going to be going to the Braves. As the crowd is slimmed down in the activity center here. Like you mentioned, a lot of uh, maybe the San Carlos Braves who made the long drive up have decided to go home and maybe avoid some of the weather coming in later. Iron Shell. Looks. Iron Shells. Getting, not Iron Shell. That, yeah, that is him, huh? Yeah, he's guarded by Parrish right now. And they're not even giving him a chance to shoot or anything. 64-39. They have some good pressure here. Okay. There we go. We go. Shots on the way. Shot is up and no good. Re rebound by Tyreek. Come Wiley back down there. Wiley for three. Good. Up and good. Two points. Two. Wiley. So, Wiley with his first, was that a three or two? That was a two-pointer. His Dave, first two-pointer. was wasn't a line, yep. Game shot is up, but he's going to be called for traveling. What's up? Coming in, Vander Dewey and Ryan Quintero. Falcons, pass the ball around with some subs in. That's uh, Lavander Dewey with the ball. Anderson with a shot for three on the way. It's up and good. That's a Hudson's Furniture three-pointer. Three -pointer Anderson three. with his fifth point of the quarter. And coming up here shortly, we'll have our Beeler Orthodontics straight line play of the game. Live to smile, love your smile. We'll also be um, bringing to you our Deemer's Glass Glassman of the game. If you need glass for your home or business, Deemer's Glass in Lakeside is hands down the best place to call. Quality glass at affordable prices. Deemer's Glass, call 1-888-GLASSMAN. And also the Honda, out, the Honda Ski and Outdoor Sports Store player of the game uh, for the best selection of hiking, hunting, fishing, camping gear on the mountain. Go to Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport south of Pine Top on Highway 260, they'll be bringing to our player of the game. That first shot is up and no good by Hopkins. Hopkins' second shot is on the way and no good off the front of the rim. When you look at the book tonight, Ronaldo, the, the San Carlos Braves didn't have much going except for in the first period. With all of those screens. DeAndre, DeAndre. DeAndre Jordan, or Anderson, excuse me, with that two there. And DeAndre's had an incredible fourth quarter here. 3.34 to go, and we've got to actually have a running clock, I think, um, at this point. 
in the game, just 71-79. And this might be actually a bigger win, um, a bigger win than last year. Last year, yeah. I think it was a close game till like the fourth quarter with the last five minutes, it just turned around and they out they outran the San Carlos Braves in the fourth quarter. So since we have a moment, we'll talk a little bit about who the Falcons have coming up. They're gonna be at in today's challenging economy, and having a college education is a must. Northland Pine and then they're gonna be traveling, uh, Payson's gonna be traveling up here and then St. John's and at Valley, Snowflake, Many Farms, that's gonna round out this uh, 2018 portion of their season. And so um, some teams out there, looks like they'll be able to get, you know, some get some wins there yeah. for this this part of the season. And I'll just say looking in, in, a, in great form here to start off. For the San Carlos Braves, they'll be traveling to Desert Christian after this, clear down in Tucson. And then they're gonna be going to uh, play in Fort Thomas at their place. Santa Rita and San Miguel and some other teams here to round out um, December. And so, again, getting started in the season, it's kind of hard to tell what you got, but for the Falcons, it's been a really positive night um, coming out here and playing some real solid, solid defense, getting steals and really dominating this game. 73 to 41 is our score. Yeah, just for your little information that I, I believe Globe Tigers uh, pulled out of 3A, went down to 2A, so they're now in the oh, okay. 2A South. Um, I know the the Rancho State Champions last year has moved up to 3A with uh, what do you call Dunk City um, Paradise Honors. Uh, yeah. They moved to 3A too, so they're out of the 2A division. So, And I think... Yuma, uh, Yuma Catholic and uh, Gilbert Christian did move to 3A2 also. So. Wow, so some rearranging there of the classes. Should be interesting to see what happens and who stays here. Minute 13 to go in this game. 73 to 41 is our score. And shot up on the way by Anderson is up and good by for two. Two points, deal, three Anderson. So we're going to begin to give away some of our awards here. And uh, Ronaldo and I were just discussing a little bit about um, some of our awards. Ronaldo, why don't you go ahead and uh, announce our Beeler Orthodontics uh, Straight Lion Player of the Game. Two points. Louis well, Straight Lion Player of the Game will be going to um, Mr. Uh, Iron Shield, 22 of San Carlos Braves. Um, he really stepped up the first quarter. Scored a lot of points, you know, kept them alive with the with the Falcons, but you know, they shut him down second half. He, they didn't know what to do, they didn't know what to figure out for their team to keep getting points on the board, but they were just shut down in the second half. And um, you know, with the last man of the game, you know, that will probably go to Mr. Dazen, I guess. Uh Gregory Dazen. Um uh, outstanding performance by Mr. Dazen there. Um great, you know, hustling defense, uh, shooting threes. And then uh, who did we select for the player of the game would be going to Malachi. Malachi uh, Harris for the Alcha State Falcons is uh, one of the tall guys for the Alcha State Falcons, but very aggressive, fast, quick, and very defensive. And, you know, he's, he's giving all his heart into the, to the game right now. So that's going to be our Beeler Orthodontics. Live to smile, love your smile. Straight line play of the game there by Mr. Uh, Iron Shell. And then we want to uh, congratulate... Um, Gregory Dazen for being our Deemer's Glass glass man of the game. Uh, you need glass for your home or business. Deemer's Glass in Lakeside is hands down the best place to call. Oh. Quality glass at affordable prices. That's Deemer's Glass. Call 1-888-GLASSMAN. And, um, and congratulations again to uh, Malachi Harris who came out tonight, played an amazing game, and uh, really, you know, 
got the season kicked off um, really great. Um, and, he, and Malachi Harris is going to end up being our Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store player of the game. Um, the player of the game is brought to you by Honda Outdoor Ski and Sports Store for the best selection of hiking, hunting, fishing, camping gear on the mountain. Go to Honda or Ski and Outdoor Sports Store south of Pine Top on Highway uh, 260. So congratulations um, to, to all of you. We want to thank all of our sponsors, Sholo Ford Summit um, Healthcare, Regional Medical Center, Ace Hardware, Northland Pioneer, Mountain Mobile, Auto Glass, Hudson's Furniture, Beeler Orthodontics, Deemer's Glass, and Honda Outdoor Ski Sports Store. Also, uh, some of the others, Octopus uh, Car Wash, Subway, uh, Northland Pioneer College, Summit Regional Medical Center, and Beeler Orthodontics. And that's going to wrap it up uh, for tonight. Uh, we want to thank everybody who was a part of this broadcast. Right there, you see it on our um, on our screen there. We have our audio engineer, uh, Jaden Kokenauer, technical director, Jimmy Maxwell. The graphics tonight, and they were good, is Chris Bennett in the truck. I want to give a shout-out to him. Um, on our replay was Michael Collins, camera operator, Jaden Kokenauer, camera operator, uh, Drayden Rowell, and our radio producer back in the studio, Ashley Harvard. There we see Jaden up there. Uh, he doesn't know he's on, but uh, Ashley Harvey back in the um, studio. I'm Ron Everingham, and I want to thank you, Ronaldo uh, Dazen, uh, for um, coming and joining us. You did a great job, and it was a, a really a good night for the Falcons. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I want to I want to say thank you for giving me the invite to be here with you guys, and you know it's amazing. You got a good team here, and you know this will get a good a lot a lot of good feedback and. You know, people will probably watch this instead of traveling far away, and yeah. you guys will take a lot of the traveling for them. But I want to thank, uh, you know, all the outside people that um, sponsored, like Sholo Ford and yep. Honda and the Outdoor uh, rec uh, Honda Recreation and uh, Sunrise Park Resort. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things and potentials there that, that to support you guys to get out here yeah. and do the what you guys are doing here. Yeah, it's really great. It's all about it's all about the kids, and that's why even the kids who get to uh, be a part of the, the the broadcast here. So, again, thanks, Ronaldo, and we want to say thanks to everybody who tuned in from all over uh, the world, um, Alcha State Falcons fans, Braves fans, and just basketball enthusiasts. Um, that's going to be it for us tonight. Here, as we um, wrap this one up, the Falcons are uh, come out on top of the Braves here from Alcha State High School. That's going to be it for us. I'm Ryan Everingham, Ronaldo Dazen. Um, good night, everybody. Good night. This has been an iTalk 1067 Sports Exclusive presented by Sholo Ford. High School Basketball is also brought to you in part by Northland Pioneer College, Ace Hardware of the White Mountains, Honda Ski and Outdoor Sport, Deemer's Glass, Beeler Orthodontics, Summit Regional Medical Center, Octopus Car Wash, Mountain Mobile Auto Glass, Little Bluebird Studios, and Hudson's Furniture. This is a copyrighted broadcast. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or reuse of this program without the expressed written consent of iTalk 1067 and Country Mountain Airwaves is expressly prohibited. For more information about this game and others around the region, go to iTalk1067.com.